Dear friends, NASA in the previous years sent James Webb Space Telescope. This telescope now discovered tentative evidence of a sign of life on a faraway planet. It may have detected a molecule called dimethyl sulfate. On Earth, at least, this is only produced by life. The researchers stress that the detection on the planet 120 light years away is not robust and more data is needed to confirm its presence. Researchers have also detected methane and CO2 in the planet's atmosphere. Detection of these gases could mean the planet, named K2-18b, has a water ocean. On Earth, dimethyl sulfate is only produced by life. The bulk of it in Earth's atmosphere is emitted from phytoplankton in marine environments. It is the first time astronomers have detected the possibility of dimethyl sulfate in a planet orbiting a distant star. But they are treating the results with caution, noting that a claim made in 2020 about the presence of another molecule called phosphine that could be produced by living organisms in the clouds of Venus was disputed a year later. Now we are moving toward answer of big question that are we are alone in the universe or not. Perhaps it will take 50 to 100 years. JWST is now able to analyze the light that passes through the distinct planet's atmosphere. That light contains the chemical signature of molecules in its atmosphere. The details can be analyzed by splitting the light into its harmonics frequencies rather like a prism creating a rainbow spectrum. If parts of the resulting spectrum are missing, it has been absorbed by chemicals in the planet's atmosphere, enabling researchers to discover its composition. The feat is all the more remarkable because the planet is more than 1.1 million billion km away, so the amount of light reaching the space telescope is tiny. As well as dimethyl sulfide detected in abundance of the gases methane and carbon dioxide with a good degree of confidence. The proportions of CO2 and methane are consistent with there being a water ocean underneath a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. NASA's Hubble telescope had detected the presence of water vapor previously, which is why the planet, which has been named K2-18b, was one of the first to be investigated by the vastly more powerful JWST. But the possibility of an ocean is a big step forward. The ability of a planet to support life depends on its temperature, the presence of carbon, and probably liquid water. Observations from JWST seem to suggest that that K2-18b ticks all those boxes. But just because a planet has the potential to support life, it doesn't mean that it does, which is why the possible presence of DMS is so tantalizing. What makes the planet even more interesting is that it is not like the Earth-like, so-called rocky planets, discovered orbiting distant stars that are candidates for life. K2-18b is nearly nine times the size of Earth. Exoplanets, which are planets orbiting other stars which have sizes between those of Earth and Neptune, are unlike anything in our solar system. The team will now continue to observe K2-18b with the JWST and its mid-infrared instrument in particular, as they aim to validate their findings and also gather more intel about the environmental conditions on the exoplanet. The goal is the identification of life on a habitable exoplanet which would transform our understanding of our place in the universe. This is today video hopefully you find enough knowledge also subscribe the channel.